Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing session. We'll be covering a very unique feature within Sagestrand Evolution. This feature is known as the multiple location sales order processing feature. This feature is applicable to an online branch accounting environment and works in conjunction with loan accounts. So let's just focus a bit on this feature. Now this feature allows you to, within the branch accounting environment, place an order at one branch and then fulfill or complete that sales order invoice at a different location or a different branch. So if you think perhaps in the business environment, you have an organization that consists of multiple branches of a specific geographic location. Customers will place orders at various branches However, you may have one sort of centralized distribution center, one storage facility, one warehouse where all your stock holding is kept. And for controlling purposes, you may want to invoice the sales order or complete that order from one centralized location. Once that has been done, the stock will then be dispatched to the customer. In this particular scenario, this feat that we're about to demonstrate is the perfect fit. Now, as I mentioned, this feature works in conjunction with an online branch accounting environment and also makes uses, use of loan accounts. So firstly, for our presentation today, I've set up an online branch accounting environment consisting of a head office and some branches. Under common maintenance, I'm going to go into branches and we there have our branches have been set up. And very importantly, we need to go set up the loan accounts to make use of this type of processing. Under general ledger maintenance, I'm going to go into accounts. And you'll see that I've created an online loan account, which is a loan account which is specific to the head office. It's a global account. And we've got all branches there marked as a loan account. And then also, very importantly, we need to go and create a loan account for each branch, which is going to be processing transactions in this particular format. So let's just take, for example, this branch, which is for or loan account, which is for one of our branches. If we edit the account, it has been marked as a loan account. Got our details there, marked as a loan account. And I'm just going to revert back to our global loan account. And very importantly, once the loan accounts have been created, you would need to link them to the global loan account. So under the global loan account, I'm going to go to branch loan accounts. And you'll see that we then have our various loan accounts that have been set up and linked to the main loan account. Now, to implement this feature, we need to go to Common, Maintenance, and into Company Details. On the General tab, you'll see we've got an option that says Allow Sales Order Processing from Nominated Branch. Enable that option and specify the Global Loan Account from the drop-down menu. Right, so once again, just to confirm, tick on the tick box to allow sales order processing from nominated branch and specify the global loan account. Our next option would be to go to common maintenance into branches and if we edit one of our branches, you'll notice is that we now have an additional section which is regarding the processing. So I'm going to tick on the sales order processing box and specify a default warehouse, which would need to be a branch specific warehouse for that branch. So for example, if I try and specify a warehouse which is not branch specific, this message will display so very importantly that you need to specify a warehouse which is specific to
to that branch. Right, so those are our setups, which are quick and easy to, to implement. And now we can continue with the processing of the transaction. I'm going to go into the branch where the sales board is going to be placed. So I'm going to exit and log off and access the branch. And I'm going to go into the branch Right, so I've accessed my branch and I'm going to move on to our order entry to place the order. Order entry transaction sales order. We have our branch, I'm going to specify the customer and the item that's going to be ordered by the customer. Specify my branch specific warehouse and what you notice is that we don't have stock available of the item within that particular warehouse. And then the quantity and the price. Under the delivery tab, we have the option to select process at another branch. And from there, we can specify at which branch is the processing or completion of the order going to occur. So I'll specify one of our branches. And what you notice is at this point, the process option is not available. I can only place the order. Under my document tab, just note that we are making use of the order number and invoice numbering for that particular branch where the transaction is occurring and I'm going to say place the order. The order has now been placed and now to fulfill the order that transaction is going to take place at a different branch. So I'm going to exit the application and log into the branch where the order is going to be confirmed and invoiced and completed. At this point, I'm now going to go and complete the sales order. So back into order entry, transactions, sales order. And I'm now going to go locate the sales order that was processed at the other branch. Open and find. There we have it. We've got our unprocessed sales order and note that we're using the order number from the branch where the transaction was initially placed or where the order was placed. Right, so I'm going to now confirm the quantity. And if we just look at our delivery tab, notice we've got our checkbox which was ticked at the branch and we specify the branch from the goods are going to be supplied. And notice now, I'm going to say process, if we've got a document, I can say process the transaction and the order will then be completed. If you look at my sales order invoice, you'll see that we've got our details there and that we've got the order number, which was from the branch where the order was placed. The delivery note and our, or invoice number is from the branch where the transaction has been completed and the quantity is confirmed. And we, there we have our transaction completed at the particular branch. And the process has now been completed. The goods will then be dispatched to the customer. Let's just go see the impact of this trans of these transactions, the general ledger. 
And to make that easy, I'm just going to go and log into the head office. We can view the trial balance of the various branches as well as the head office. All branches and in our head office, let's just go see the impact on the trial balance. So I'm going to go to General Ledger, Reports, Trial Balance. And first, we're going to go look at the branch where the order was placed. So let's just go to that particular branch. Preview the trial balance. You notice is that we've got our sales account, customers control and cost of goods sold, as well as the loan account, which has been credited. And let's just go through to the branch where the transaction was complete and the order processed and view those details. And yeah, we had, the stock account was updated together with the loan account, which has been debited. And if we then go look at the transaction for all branches, right and preview. Right, try it again, and there we have it. So I've got our cost of goods, our receivables control, the sales account, the stock account, and what you notice is what the two loan accounts, in this instance, the loan account of the branch where the transaction was placed, and in this instance, the loan account of where the transaction was fulfilled. So as you can see, we've got our global view of the transaction, and we can also go view the impact per branch. So as you can see, a very useful feature to make use of if you are going to be placing an order specific branch and then invoicing the order at different location and making use of the loan accounts when processing the transaction. Thank you for watching our presentation today. It's over and out for me and goodbye.